over them, but the Marines did not stim. Now he's trying to micro against these Marines. Not a very good choice because unless he's got super insane micro, uh, microing against those Marines, he's going to lose more than it was worth. So I don't know why he keeps coming in for these Marines. It'd be better just to uh, get a better positioning by the, uh, you know, you got to go somewhere where the Marines are not in the wide open, where, th where they can't chase the Mutas. So definitely I think he's just going to try and pick off this force so that uh, it's not going to be able to threaten killing off his third expansion but uh, it's really going to just he's not going to be able to do any damage uh, economy wise to Nada. Zergling's coming in here Zergling flank right here but uh, he he didn't attack as fast as he could but uh, most of the units down uh, dead in, in this group now so he's going to be able to clean that up <clears throat> just a fire ban two medics now so uh should be transitioning into lurkers now with a uh, hive and a uh, new group of units coming out for nada starport also coming out as well uh we still see shark really does not saturate his bases at all even though this is not known as the macro matchup like pvz um it's very micro intensive but you still need to keep a a fair amount of drones. He's got a very small amount of drones. And uh, dr uh, Marines and Medics coming in up this ramp. They're going to be able to take a good positioning right here. Mutas coming in, getting surrounded on all sides by Marines. That was very bad. And uh, Nada, if he plays it right, he's going to be able to take out this hatchery right now. These Mutas, um, Shrek's going to have to micro them very well if he wants to kill this. Uh, and he's actually doing a pretty good job. He's reduced the Marine count uh, quite a lot. And he should be able to save this expansion at this point in time. Uh, but he's still losing a lot of mutas and he's got to take out the, that marine force cut some zerglings and uh mutas coming in now and most of the marines are dead now so uh he has effectively taken this down um quite a lot of damage was dealt to his hatchery though and now more zerglings so not at this point he's just going to be able to get a lot of units um he's he's just continually making more and more control groups of units science facility is also coming up right now Looks like a Muta Zergling attack coming in right now, but he's got to get a good flank and uh, does look like he uh, accidentally ran into Nada's group force, so he um, was not really able to do any damage. He's going to try and come in from the back now, and uh, Hive is also coming up as well, so we'll see how this fares uh, for Shark. Shark should be able to do some damage, but uh, looks like Nada anticipated it, and uh, crazy, wow, just great, great game sense from Nada. Nada just got this amazing game sense. He knew that uh, he knew that Shark was going to come in from the back, and uh, Shark ran sh straight into Nada's units, and um, really it was just terrible because he lost a lot. So it looks like Shark uh, tried to engage some units at uh, the main, but uh, looks like there's some defense there anyways. And uh, now there's not much defense over here. Lurker's still being morphed, and uh, these Marines are going to be come up this ramp. They're going to be able to take out. Um, these lurkers that are just morphing. Scan goes off. Both lurkers go down, and now he's gonna be able to take out that expansion. This is terrible for Shark because Shark's gonna lose expansion. And again, this is just like the Good Friend game. Um, he's gonna lose this expansion, and now he's not gonna have enough gas to power power his hive. Uh, you can see not only has one medic, but it doesn't matter too much anyways because uh, he's got a fairly large amount of marines and lots of lurkers coming in right now. But uh, as long as uh, Nada remains uh, in a good position, oh, well, he lost a lot right there and uh, should be cleaned up right now but it did its damage it did kill off that expansion so very nice there and you can see a really big problem with shark is just losing he's not defending that expansion too enough uh, it was a problem in the last game and now it's a problem again so uh, not in a great position as well um, going, it looks like he's going in from the back again uh, but he's got such a teeny force there's already tanks marines and science vessels and looks like Nada knew just just amazing game sense. How did he know that? Maybe he had a scout there or something. But that's like the third time this game he knew exactly where the army was for Shark. And really, Nada's just uh, just uh, really just one of those players. Uh, they just keep track of the army positioning of the enemy every all the time. Now he's got some bunkers in his base, so he's gonna be able to defend a little bit easier. Here comes Shark. Gonna try and engage the. Uh, the units over here but there's a science vessel as well as a lot of tanks and marines and bunkers so uh, now it's going to continue to advance and uh, he's eventually going to be able to reach the natural and uh, probably end the game right there maybe uh, depends on if defilers come out or guardians 
but uh, still he's just got a very very low amount of gas and he's got to retake that third expansion which he is not doing he's not retaking any expansion about five guardians being made not gonna do too much damage uh, but it is gonna do a little bit of damage uh, now that the expansion's gone this expansion will be able to get shelled on by tanks from the cliff on the top which is exactly what is not what Nada is doing he's gonna be able to start shooting the sunkins and uh... F you know a couple of guardians coming in here with a lurk ling force there's a tank and uh, a couple of marines so uh... this this force might actually be able to do a little bit of damage um, but uh... he's got to control his units well if he wants to do some damage uh... lurkers burning at the ramp these guardians are doing a little bit of damage there is a science vessel so uh... we'll see how much damage this does Right now, it looks like Nod is retreating, so he can f deal with that. He's got a pretty good force of Marine and Medics, but uh, he's losing them all to Lurkers right now. So, uh, lost that huge force of Marines and Medics to uh, Lurkers. Uh, it was not actually a huge force, but it was a pretty good force. Uh, not a, actually not doing too well right now. Uh, you would have think he would have capitalized on his uh, his uh, advantage, but um, he uh, really he's definitely still ahead, but. Uh, Lost a little bit of too many units he should not have lost right there. Uh, he is getting a command center though that he was building. Um, and he should be able to get a third expansion quite soon. Shark still not retaking a third expansion. So not sure how he plans to continue this game. Oh, actually that was a starport. So he's going uh, uh, SKT. Um, Marine force with tons of science vessels. Now he's going to irradiate this defiler. And... Uh, Really, it's uh looks like a good flank is gonna be able to come on right here. Um, two dark swarms cast. Lurkers not gonna be able to kill any marines. Maybe one. Yeah, not even. Yeah, a couple of marines. That's it. And uh, not is gonna be able to uh, come out on top. He's still got a very nice advantage. Don't what these SCVs are doing. Maybe just going to scout. Uh, you can see Nada just went scanning the whole map. So he's really kept track of the expansions that Shark has had. So I don't know what Shark's game plan is. Um, is he planning to uh, just keep going off two bases? I don't know. But, uh, you know, in the long run, going off two bases is going to get him nowhere because he's not going to be able to get anywhere. Nice flank there by Nada, and it is GG. Very nice flank there, and uh, that killed off the rest of Shark's force. So Nada is now into the, uh, into the uh, MSL round of 16. You can see he was very happy right there uh, doing one of his little ceremonies again. So Shark does lose. Looks like a couple of girls were crying, but uh, Nada's fans were definitely very happy. Um, Shark looks a little bit sad as well. So uh, congratulations to Nada. I'm really happy he got in because uh, I like him as a player quite well. So GG. That concludes Groupie.